Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're reviewing uh, my three current helmets uh, that I have. Uh, one being my oldest helmet uh, in my possession, which is a Simpson Outlaw Bandit. Uh, this was my Harley helmet, um, fully customized or fully customized paint job uh, by a buddy of mine with the silver uh, iridium uh, shield. We have the Simpson Mod Bandit. This is a modular helmet. So I, I wanted to go with a white and gold uh, color scheme because my Triumph Tiger is khaki, uh, khaki green. Uh, so I'm a big fan. I just wanted to kind of match the white powder coat and the white frames with the white helmet. And then uh, the Rurock uh, 4.0 Atlas. Um, <clears throat> these two have <clears throat> communication uh, comms. So this one's got a Cardo uh, free comm for and this has the shockwave, which is um, uh, special or fitted for just uh, the Rurock. And this one's my older helmet. I didn't have a comms on this or music. Uh, I do love to listen to music when I'm riding, but when I was on my Harley Street Glide, which is a bagger, it had a stereo, uh, which was extremely loud. No need for um, uh, headphones. <clears throat> so. Starting with the Simpson, uh, this is a super light helmet. This was customized uh, by a buddy of mine. <clears throat> and if you'll see, my nickname's always been Papa uh, because of my last name. And this is uh, just essentially a silver leaf. Um, it's all been painted, cleared, all that. Uh, pinstriping running all the way around, uh, coming out of peak at the back, going around the front. <clears throat> and up and then some pinstriping all the way on the back i wanted to keep this very simple uh so i told my buddy just to you know do something really cool but at the same time don't go overboard uh the reason why this is kind of a graphite gray pearl is because my harley was painted the exact same way so this literally matched uh my my harley's uh color so again this is more of an older thing. Mean, this was a, probably about nine years old now uh, eight, nine years old. There's a little bit of cracking here, but this helmet served me very well. Super light, D-ring style, um, obviously an older model, but I love this helmet. Uh, I could wear it all the time. It's comfortable. I don't wear it much now because it just kind of doesn't go with, uh, with the Tiger, but absolutely love this helmet. I love the look of it. Um, so always been a big fan. Probably will never get rid of this one. The next one is the Simpson Mod Bandit. This is also super light for a modular helmet. Swapped out the clear lens for a gold iridium lens, which does the job. I think it's beautiful um, and it matches the color scheme of my bike. Uh, as I mentioned, I installed the Cardo Freecom 4. Uh, I did mount it via a sticker uh, and then wired the cables uh, through uh, and into um, the ear pockets. Very simple install. Uh, this helmet is a little rounder than most Simpson helmets. So I'm more of an intermediate oval. Uh, I have kind of a longer front to back, sh uh, shorter um, side to side. But um, this one just felt, you know, all my other Simpsons were always perfect fitting. This one feels, there's a lot of pressure in my forehead. Um, because this is more of a rounder uh, helmet. So if you're one of those intermediate ovals or ovals, you know, this, you might have some issues with this helmet. Uh, but nonetheless, I wear it. I love it. I love its modularity. I didn't want something to be, you know, I wanted a helmet to have uh, modularity. So this also you have to size down, right? So I'm a large in all of my helmets. This is a large. This is a large. This is a medium. So Simpsons Modular Outlaw or Mod Bandit is, uh, runs a little smaller than most. So this is a medium. I'm a fan of it, super comfortable. You could definitely tell the difference between these uh, pads and the pads on the older Outlaw Bandit. But this also has the drop down visor. You'll see, very easy to use, smooth. Uh, the, pin, the locking pins for the face shield are metal. They're not plastic. Um, so overall, love this helmet. 
easy to manipulate, looks badass, right? And the Cardo uh, Freecom 4 pairs to my bike, no problem. I'm able to do voice commands with it. I can you know, change songs or, or increase volume, lower volume and everything just by speaking into it and saying, hey, Cardo, right? Similar to how you would say, hey, Siri. And then lastly, we have the Rurock 4.0 Atlas. This is one of the coolest looking helmets, in my opinion, on the market. Uh, this is a true carbon fiber. This is on the gloss version, so it's called the liquid carbon. Uh, black face shield. I wanted to go all black on this one, just kind of change it up a little bit. The, the shield is awesome. The helmet looks awesome. The liquid carbon, incredible. Um, the venting and all that. This is my loudest helmet though. And I don't care what anybody says and all the you know YouTube influencers and YouTubers and everybody that Rurock pays to, to make reviews on this helmet. It is, it's a loud helmet. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, the quietest helmet that I have right now is the Simpson. It's still loud, right? But I listen to music. So if you're one of those guys that wears earplugs, no problem with any three of these helmets. If you listen to music, no problem. If you just like listening to the sound of wind, you're gonna have a problem with basically all of these helmets. They're not showy RF 1200s or 1400s. They're not shoe berths. Um, you know, they look cool. They're aerodynamic, they do their job, they protect your, your noggin, but they're not the quietest. And I'm okay with that. I listen to a lot of music, so it doesn't matter. Um, the cool thing about this is that this has the integrated shockwave uh, into the helmet. So you'll see all the buttons in the back. Personally, I think it's a good system. Everybody, you know, you know there's always gonna be opinions about everything, but the system has served me fine. Connects to my Tiger, no problem again. Uh, the interior is nice. This is my best fitting helmet out of all of them. This one has the Rion technology because um, it is the 4.0. The buckle here is a magnetic buckle. Very easy to put on, uh, take off. It's not a D-ring, but it does, I think, pretty well. In terms of the padding and everything, again, most comfortable helmet I have. A little bit on the louder side. Good speaker cutouts so my ears don't have any pressure points. Um, the chin curtain I keep on as well. Pretty easy to put on and put off. The only difference between, uh, the only issue that I have with this helmet is that the cheek pads are so tight. Like real tight. Like it's really hard to talk sometimes into the microphone or anything like that. Uh, whereas my modular and my other Simpson, easy peasy, no problem. They, you could argue that they're a little bit lighter, but this is super tight, which again, it should be tight, right? Your head shouldn't be moving it inside your helmet. So overall, these are my helmets. This is uh, in the $500 range. That's also probably, I can't remember, but also in the five, $600 range, maybe a little bit cheaper. Uh, and then the Outlaw Bandit, you know, it's been a while, but I think I, yeah, I paid in the threes for it. So these are my three helmets, guys. If I had a pick of all the helmets, I would probably go with the Simpson Modular, just because it is modular, it looks cool, and I love Simpson helmets. I'm biased towards them. Uh, I've had friends that I've wrecked in Simpsons and saved their noggin. You could say that about a lot of helmets, but it's tried and true, it's Simpson Racing. They care, they do the testing, um, and I believe it's still family owned, and that's important to me. So those are it, those are my three. I'm looking at also the RF uh, 1400 from Shoei, and I'm also looking at the AGV K6. So if you guys have any feedback or comments on those two helmets that I'm looking for, you know, put them down in the comment section. Uh, again, uh, love for you guys to subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of this content and uh, Hopefully you could uh, also hit that like button So I'll talk to you guys soon